What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Oh, that's not good. All right, so what you can see here is I've got my DJI Osmo Mobile 2 handheld Steadicam gimbal, and cell phones have grown in size over the years, and this is an XS Max, and you can see how big it is. It hangs off the edge, but you've got this extra weight over on this side, and what I wanted to show you is that because they get so big, you know, it's trying to go into vertical mode, and it seems to snap up okay, but if you have cases on here and other things like that, not only are they pretty big and, and they hang out pretty far, but I've noticed that it can kind of struggle to keep this sucker even. What up? So you can see here, it's trying to keep the sucker level, and if I go here, but man, it's it's it struggles. So the key to this is that you actually need more weight on this end so that this motor back here doesn't have to work as hard. What you can actually do here is this arm on the gimbal will slide in and out. So you can uh, unlock the screw a little bit and slide this arm a little bit and do some pretty decent fine tuning of it. But you know, if you've got a clip on lens or a case that's new since you've adjusted that, and if you have some extra weight out here on the camera end, you know, maybe you're even using a uh, an, an actual camera, uh, this only goes out so far. And so you have this issue of not enough weight to counterbalance a very large phone with accessories. So enter this little bad boy. Uh, these are all over the place. I got this one because it was the cheapest one I could find. This is under 10 bucks. So this is a, a Ulanzi PT4 gimbal counterweight. And it's basically something that is universal and will clip on to this arm over here and you can screw on additional weights. So we have a little bracket here. As you can see, it's got a little thumb tightening screw here. It has a little rubber pad on the top and the bottom. And then what we have are like quarter inch uh, holes uh, on three sides. So if I were to put this on here, gonna loosen it up there, get it on there. And now I've got this. And, and just this little weight itself is going to add um, a pretty, probably a pretty decent amount of weight. But then we can take these weights, which are pretty heavy, I'm not sure, if, I'm assuming stainless steel or something, and it looks like it comes with four of them. So you can kind of dial this sucker in a little bit. So let me just show you, I can put this in here, but then piggyback these if I really have, like, like I said, even a, a, a real DSLR or something on there. Now, you might not need even one of these all the way on the back end, and so what you can do is put them on the side, like this. And so that will even bring this weight in closer to that uh, central fulcrum, that pivot point. And so it's not as, m it doesn't act like as much weight further out. And maybe you need it on the front or the back or whatnot. You could put this on the inside or on this arm here. So lots of ways you could use this, but this is a really clever way, especially if you use a bigger cell phone, like I said, with a cover, maybe other attachments, a microphone, what have you. It's a great way to help offset some of that extra weight. So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panned out.